There's nothing magical in acai that's going to help you lose weight. It's not a miracle fruit. That's how it's being marketed, that it helps to fight cancer or it helps weight loss. We asked you what you'd like us to investigate and we've got experts to answer your questions. On today's episode, acai bowls. First of all, what is acai? Acai berries originate from two specific types of palms that only grow in the river systems, in particular areas of Bolivia to Brazil. It is a fruit with very high antioxidant level. It's not low calorie, it's actually high calorie, but also high in fats. But it's the same as, let's say, avocado. It's also very high in calorie, but that's because it's healthy fats. And it also has fiber and it has no sugar. Wait, it has no sugar? So why is my acai bowl so sweet? It's not sweet at all. It has a earthly beetroot kind of taste with a hinge of dark chocolate. In fact, in the Amazon forest itself, they eat it with fish. So it's very different from how we have it here. They eat it as like a main course. I have here the unsweetened acai pulp. The colour, it's uh, way deeper than the sweetened one. This one is 100 grams of acai. This one only has nine, 89 grams of acai and 11 grams of sugar. So that's why it's also lighter in colour. According to the American Heart Association, that's almost half of the maximum 25 grams of sugar recommended for women per day. For men, it's at 37.5 grams. The um, acai sorbet, this one has about 19%. To make any form of sorbet, you need water, sugar and stabilizer. We can't say that acai sorbet and acai ice cream are healthy because there is sugar involved and sugar is always the number one killer for our health as well as increased weight etc. Most of the cafes that we see and the acai that we eat, they are all sweetened. The additional ingredients, for example, your granola, your chocolate chips or your cookie crumbs would contain sugar. How can we opt for a healthier acai bowl? If you manage to take a look at how the acai is served to you, whether it's scooped out from a tub or blended and placed in a bowl. Of course, with blending, you can actually check whether they use the unsweetened pulp or the sweetened pulp. How do you yeah. check that? You have to ask. When I first started this cafe, I actually used the um, unsweetened acai berry and I had a complaint from a customer. <laughs> the customer said that it's um, not tasty at all. I learned that unsweetened acai, I should just keep it to my home. <laughs> Why are acai bowls so expensive? The high price comes because it is only grown in specific regions, partly, but also the processing of it. Acai is like a blueberry, but the seed is actually very, very big. So only about 10% of the circumference of the seed is the skin and the pulp. We soak the um, acai in a huge barrel of water to soften the skin and the pulp and after that we put it through a funnel. It's a big like a mixing machine. In that process, the seed will be separated from the skin and the pulp. During this process, water is also added into it because otherwise it's too thick and then we pump it into the 100 gram packs that we see. Right after that, it's frozen. Even within Brazil, it's all consumed frozen. The only way you can have it fresh is within the Amazon forest in the local markets. When we harvest acai, it starts to ferment. So within three to four days, it will just rot and dry up. You have to have a very cold supply chain that's able to move internationally. But you can also demand a price premium if you're making big claims that it's this sort of mystical, healthy thing. How did acai berries become a health craze? A sort of a celebrity doctor went on Oprah Winfrey show around 2004 and talked about the specific health benefits of acai berries, which had sort of just been this niche product. And then it really blew up in a big way after that. What are some of these health benefits? something like acai that contains antioxidants. You know, we call them superfoods because they have these kind of extra nutrients in them. What are antioxidants? Are they essential in our diet? For a lot of us, you know, we live in urban areas where we're being exposed to chemical and environmental things all the time that lead to these free radicals being formed in our body. 
essentially these are super reactive species that can end up leading to diseases associated with oxidative stress. You know, heart disease, cancer, antioxidants have chemical components that can essentially neutralize those free radicals before they have a chance to damage our tissue or DNA or our body. How much antioxidants should I consume? Antioxidants aren't listed typically on a nutritional label. It's, it's kind of a newer, relatively, area of nutrition and that scientists are really still trying to understand how antioxidants behave in the body. Um, scientists do know that people who eat fruits and vegetables that contain high levels of antioxidants, there's a correlation with a lower instance of oxidative diseases. Do all acai products contain high levels of antioxidants? We started the study to look at antioxidant content of different types of acai products. All of the products that we studied were all marketed as pure acai, no added sugar. We looked at acai powders, capsules, acai pulp like for acai bowls, and some of these products don't have any acai in them. We found others that had really low concentrations, and we found a couple that contained adulterants of some kind. For most consumers, if they really enjoy acai, they might want to think about consuming the actual pulp product. There's just lots of other components to a whole fruit that are going to be more nutritionally beneficial than in a processed supplement. There's lots of other great fruits and vegetables that contain very similar compounds. Strawberries and blueberries, raspberries, a lot of those deep purple fruits and vegetables. When you see that purple color in there, it's generally indicative of the fact that these contain high levels of these anthocyanins. How people portray acai as a super food. All in all, I think it's marketing. Is there a bowl of you to say because you're, you're like a supplier of Yeah, but I mean, that's the truth, right? Let's say I'm a supplier of kiwi. I wouldn't say kiwi is everything that you need to eat. You have to eat other things as well.